<laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to work on uh, recovering guards. So there's a important detail here. Um, normally, if someone's got side control, so I'm blocking the neck and my arm. Okay. My, my leg is up. I shrimp away. Put my leg in front of his body. Push out. Throw back in the guard. Okay. The issue is. A lot of times when you get this knee in right here, this is not enough to stop him from passing again. He can push in my knee, he comes right back through. There's actually a lot of options this guy has when I just put my, my leg in right here. So what we're going to do, instead of just recovering guard with the leg in, we're going to go leg in, leg over right here. So I'm actually bringing this knee in and this leg over. If his arm is on the other side of my body, I can actually start to go for arm lock there. So let's do that again. So from here, his arm's on the far side of my body. Okay, he's putting his weight on me. What I can do, Take his weight off of me, shrimp away while I'm in the air, and then oh, I've got an arm lock right here. Okay? Okay? Sometimes his arm's not going to be on this side of the body, it'll be in the middle, you won't be able to catch it. Okay? So from here, I'm going to shrimp away, leg in, leg over. Now, I can't get as far arm for the arm bar. It's not, it's not in between my legs anymore. So what I can do is I can reach my hand over here, I'm going to grab the knee at his wrist, okay? I'm going to shift my hip away, shoot my leg through, and I can pull him on top of me right here, okay? Now I have to actually have a triangle, okay? So let's show a different angle. So we're here. I'm going to trip away, leg in, leg over, okay? Now I'm reach through and I'm going to grab his wrist, okay? Keep my leg through. I want to pull him on top of me, okay? If I keep him down here and I start squeezing, there's no parotid choke, I'm squeezing the back of his neck. So actually what I want to do is have him on top of me. So my left parotid, or my left hamstring is on his left parotid. I'm going to pull his arm in, now his own shoulder is getting his right parotid. So we're getting a triangle here. Okay, so I've got my submission here. If he kept this arm away, I can't grab it too far away, now I can reach, grab his wrist. I've got an Americana here, boom, okay. Or if he twisted out of it, I've got a floor right here. He's not going anywhere. Okay, another detail. So um, th this guard is called the cross guard. Okay, so getting the legs in is called leg in, leg over. So we go here, I'm going leg in, leg over. Okay, so I can go for that arm bar, he pulls the arm out. I've got my submissions that I just showed. Um, this leg position right here, I can keep it on his neck. It helps prevent him from passing this direction. Okay, my foot on his hip keeps him from going the other way. However, I'm not really controlling his hip. So if he actually took his hip, hip and dropped it all the way down towards my upper body, he's going to kill this, um, this guard. Okay? So what we can do to prevent that is put on the hip. Because now, let's try this a little bit. When we're here, I put this foot on the hip right here. If he wants to drop that, that hip through, he's not, he's not coming through. So I can actually defend. And then I can start working attacks. There's lots of attacks I can do from here. I'm going for my first triangle. I've got my Kimura. I've got Americana. Several options. Thank you.